It seems that I've added another farm to the collection. I have made the concrete farm to aid me on the journey on finishing the witch farm. And also, there is some really sad news. My statistics reset again. FOR THE LOVE OF GOD! It's reset for the third time now. And it's been... Oh, it's been so sad. All of the hard work, not even recorded. I know the source. I know the source of the problem. But there's nothing that I can do. Well, anyways... After that concrete farm, I have about 8 shelters for red concrete. So let's just head on over to the witch farm and grind for another day or so. But wait, we need one more thing to start placing the concrete blocks. I said red concrete blocks, right? And to get red concrete blocks, you need red dye. And for red dye, you need either poppies or beetroot. And with all the poppies gone from my iron farm, there was only one option left. And it was to make a beetroot farm. We really had everything we needed. All we needed to do was just get some sand, and some gravel, and we were off! Obviously, 8 shulkers of red concrete wasn't going to be enough to fill the whole floor. So a total of 6 times I went back and forth, from the perimeter, to gathering the materials, to AFK at the concrete farm, and back to the perimeter. I was grinding pretty hard and vibing to stuff in the background, and before I knew it, almost a week had passed, and almost 200 Minecraft days had been filled with constant grinding, and maybe some AFKing. And on the final day, December 28, 2021, we finished the floor of the perimeter. We are now going to finally place the last block. Oh, you're ruining the moment! We are finally going to place the last block in this perimeter to finish the canvas. And all we need to do is just spawn proof it. We don't want these slimes taking up the mob cap for our witch farm. After almost a week, I finally finished it. This is looking sick. Alright, let's get to filling the floor with uh, water and spawn proofing it. It's been an hour since since I finished the floor and I've already I've already spawn proofed this whole thing. And it looks pretty cool. It's 1.41 a.m. in the morning and I'm I'm pretty tired. So I think I might do the witch farm maybe tomorrow. This looks amazing. I could just this might be the safest place in my world now. Now that it's spawn proof. Yeah no, there's gonna be a cut, but in reality I've slept maybe a good ten hours before I, before I do this the switch farm and that'll be the end of it basically after a month after a month of this tomorrow it will be finished oh wait actually no basically it's 1 42 a.m tomorrow would be 24 hours from now so today this will get finished okay i'll see you in about 10 hours this is a fun fact in our last video we estimated that the blocks of red concrete that we needed was 49,152. And as you can see, we got pretty damn close, adding up to 49,069, which I'm happy that my math was correct. I'm, it's just, oh, it's just, it's just insane that we almost got to the exact number. After I built the witch farm, I AFK'd for an hour, and as you can see, the rates are pretty dang good. So after an hour of AFKing from this witch farm, this is how much we got. So the rates of this farm aren't good, but they're not bad either. 
It's honestly alright. All I need really is the redstone from this farm. Because redstone is needed for other farms, you know? And I'm gonna do plenty of other farms after this, but they're not gonna be as huge as this whole thing. So yeah, all I really need is redstone dust. And if you're thinking why there's no sound, because if I put the sound on... Oh. It's not doing it. Well, with, with the sounds on, when, whenever the witches went into the minecart, because this is empty coming, the minecarts would make loads of sound, and it, and it would just hurt. It would just hurt my ears to, to hear it. So yeah, this is basically the end. So yeah, this is basically the end of the witch farm. After a whole month, we finally finished it. This was insane to do. And I'm honestly proud of this project, and it's the first one I've ever done. It's the first ever perimeter that I've, I've done. See. Those are the remnants of the flying machine that we made while building the, the TNT flying machine. And this is all spawn proof. I forgot to say this. This switch farm is uh, designed by Shockcraft. Or I just followed the tutorial on the video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link down in the description if you want to read this. I don't know what my plans are for the next episode, but I'll see you there. Bye bye. Also, the next episode will probably next month. Next year, actually. Jesus. It's December 28th. It's December 28th, as of now. My next video will probably be out next year, so... Happy New Year's to whoever is watching. And bye-bye. Okay, listen. I know it's been a short video, but I prefer the content of the video to be good and quick rather than bad and long. But anyways, new content from me will probably come out sometime next month, since that's when schoolwork starts to become my top priority. My content will become dry since I have some New Year's resolutions, so that is something to keep in mind. Anyways, I wish a Happy New Year's to anybody who got through to the end. Bye bye!